Hello everyone, welcome to Dentamedia YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about remining structure and innervation of dentin. Let's get started. Interglobular dentin, calcification of dentin in some areas occurs in a form of globular pattern. These globules fuses together to form homogeneous substance. Sometimes globules in some areas fail to fuse. Area of organic matrix between the globules remain uncalcified or partially mineralized. These areas bonded by the curved outlines of the adjacent globules. Incremental lines of von Ebner, striations in dentin, perpendicular to dentinal tubules, reflects the daily rhythmic recurrent deposition of dentinal matrix, indicates growth pattern of dentin, contour lines of Owen. Some incremental lines are accentuated because of disturbance in matrix and mineralization process, such lines are called contour lines of Owen, neonatal line, neonatal lines are hypocalcified area represented by a wide contour line seen in those teeth, where dentin is partly formed before birth and partly formed after birth. These are found in all deciduous teeth and first permanent molars. The neonatal lines represent the disturbance in mineralization due to the abrupt change in environment that occurs at birth, granular layer of tomes, this is a granular layer seen under transmitted light adjacent to cementum. This zone increases in amount from the cementoenamel junction to the apex of the root. The granular layer represents the looped terminal portion of the dentinal tubules in the root dentin. The cause of development of this zone is possibly similar to the branching and beveling of the dentinal tubules at the dentinoenamel junction, dentinoenamel junction. The junction between the enamel and dentin is irregular and is described as scalloped. The convexities face the dentin whereas the concavities face the enamel. Predentin pulp junction, made up of dense collagenous fibers and is present between the uncalcified dentin, predentin, and pulp, dentin predentin junction. Dentin predentin junction is the interface between the calcified and uncalcified newly formed dentin called predentin. Dentinosmentum junction. There is a smooth line junction between the dentin and cementum in permanent teeth. The cementodentinal junction in deciduous teeth, however, is sometimes slightly scalloped. The attachment of cementum to dentin is quite firm, dentin sensitivity, exposed dentin is very sensitive. Three main theories have been proposed to explain dentin sensitivity, direct neural stimulation theory, transduction theory. Fluid or hydrodynamic theory, direct neural stimulation theory. This theory states that the nerve endings inside the dentinal tubules are directly stimulated and cause sensitivity slash pain. The arguments against this theory are as follows. Even though nerve endings are seen inside the dentinal tubule, they are confined to the inner dentin and are absent in the outer dentin, topical application of the local anesthetic to the surface of dentin does not eliminate dentin sensitivity. Transduction theory this theory states that various stimuli stimulate the odontoblastic process which conducts the impulses to the nerve endings located in the inner dentin. The arguments against this theory are as follows. Neurotransmitter vesicles are absent in the odontoblastic process. There is no synaptic relationship between the odontoblastic process and the nerve endings. Fluid or hydrodynamic theory. Dentin sensitivity is due to the movement of fluid inside the dentinal tubules. Various stimuli such as heat, osmotic pressure, and drying can cause outward movement of fluid, whereas cold stimulus causes inward movement of fluid. Movement in either direction causes mechanical disturbance of the nerve endings which are present in the inner dentin and are close to the odontoblasts and their process. The free nerve endings in the plexus of Raskow sense these disturbances, resulting in sensitivity slash pain. This widely accepted theory proposes that nerve endings act as mechanoreceptors. So in this video, we have covered remaining structures and innervation of dentin, you can watch other videos on enamel and dentin, links given in description, 
please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get latest updates. Thank you for watching.